Well, welcome back, you beautiful people, for a new series. So this one, I'm thinking of doing something a, a little bit different. So we've done the hives in the last one. We've done some more hammer ones. And I had a little suggestion about why not make a massive android army and take over the rim. So, well, that is what we're going to do. So we've got James, who is... So it's the Android Tears mod, and then within that, there's Rise of the Machines, which is a machine that wants to destroy basically all of humanity. So that's what we're doing there. So that should be quite fun. And then on top of that, because we're feeling a little bit sneaky, we've also added in what the hack, which means that we can take over mechanoids. And obviously, androids and mechanoids working together is going to be pretty sweet. Now, as where we started, we've started in a pretty sweet location. So they can only come to us through one area here. So this is going to be our little kill zone. We should work out pretty well. We are playing with Igor. On losing is fun. So that means we're going to get attacked every three days. We've got like five days to set up. But as you can see, we've got a bunch of ruins around. We can move that about and we should be in a pretty decent uh, defensive situation fairly quick. What we are going to need to do is change everyone over to attack because there is a little Fennec Fox down here who might not be super dangerous, but will be annoying enough. And on the other side of that, I'm also going to have to set up a couple little uniforms for our guys, so therefore they're always going to be picking up ammo. So I'll be right back. So for the moment, this should do pretty well. So we're going to have everyone with an assault rifle, then everyone has 5.56 AP rounds, and then everyone is also going to be carrying three nano kits. And as for food, I don't think that's going to be worth worrying about too much at the moment. Well, just because robots. And we're also on package survival meals, which means we'd have to get the bill and then reset and redo everything. Which, not super interesting doing right now. But what we do need to do is I'm thinking because we are fairly small, we're going to be quite weak. We build closer towards our little kill zone over here. So what we're going to do, track down stockpile here. Uninstall a bunch of this stuff. Then reinstall that around there. They don't need bedrooms because they're robots. And then we're going to have to start getting rid of these well, these components here and there. Or was it going to be destroyed? Move some of this over to here. And then, yeah, that should be the start of a half-decent base. Now, first things first, send James down. James is going to be able to shoot up the Fennec Fox eventually. Cool, so we don't need to worry about that. Everyone else is now going to start getting to work to uninstalling all of this. Once that's uninstalled, it's going to be pretty easy just to go over here. He says, take this, install, and then copy all of this across yonder this way. And then all they're going to do is pick it up and bring it over. As for wood, we've got a little bit of cactus. Then we've also got the wood that we start with. And there's a couple doors. So sweet. We are going to have our storeroom set nice and quick. Anything that's not used here goes over here. And then let's get these marked up so we can start bringing all that down before it all gets shot apart. This section obviously is going to be quite useful. And then we've also got a couple of steam geysers in the base, which yet again, super, super duper useful. So not mad about that. And then basically anything else that we don't want, we can break down, which is going to give us a bunch of resources. And beyond that, let's go set up a dumping stockpile zone. And we won't need it as big, so chuck that into there. You can start breaking down stones. And for the robots, we've made them cannibals as well. Because, well, if we are getting raided every three days, there is going to be way too many human corpses around. So we might as well put them to some use. Seems something that, like, a robot that hates humanity would do. And so, yeah, we're going to be able to process through them. And then the other side is we're really not going to have a massive amount of time for farming. Because we're going to constantly be under attack and people are going to constantly be needing to be repaired, put back together and all of that fun stuff. So let's skip forward a little bit and get all of this done. And yeah, level three androids even off the bat are, no, he's level four, are pretty rapid. The other two are level twos, which are basically expendable cannon fodder. Was going to go with the T1s, but it turns out T1's base strength is so weak that even if you put them in power armor, they can't do much so yeah they're, they're kind of useless really <laughs> did have a little try see if that was going to work turns out no 
is the pretty much straight answer to that. If you can't put something in power armor in combat extended, it is dead. And having flak vests and a flak jacket does not save you. What we have got set up is a build to make a bunch of granite chunks. Well, granite blocks out of granite chunks. Which means over here, what we can do now is get some embrasures. And I think we just go across like this. We don't need anything fancy. But we do need a little kill zone. And so that's how we're coming across this way. Put those like that. And then we'll go into security. Change these over to granite chunks. Well, granite barricades. So they can't hide behind the corners. And come across like yonder. And that should be that all covered. So I think defensively... We are semi-sorted already. I mean, we're going to get overrun as soon as anything big comes in. These guys don't appear to be selling anything. And we'll also need to start mining that out sooner or later. But that is not a bad little setup for us. Now, this area is farmable, so obviously we can start putting stuff down there. But I think next step is when you get some research going. So you're onto this. And chuck in the whole little research room. I would like the high-tech research bench. That is not a thing, unfortunately. So that will do there. And then because we don't have lighting or anything, we'll just remove that little section. So then they'll class as being in the light. So this should work a little bit quicker. Mad hair coming down. Everyone is set to kill things. But let's see how this works. Slowly, apparently. Oh, good shot, mate. Okay, cool. You killed the, the rabbit. Well done, mate. I think things are going pretty well for us. And already the first raid is coming, so that's going to start in 12 hours. Which gives us plenty of time to prep. That will get destroyed eventually. This will all start changing. These are going to get shot out. And then we can develop it from there. But right now... I was going to say we've got limited resources, but we got very, very lucky with that start. So I think we should be alright for a while. Granite chunks are all done, so we'll change over to the marble. Actually, tell you what, we won't touch marble. We don't need it. Normally you'd have marble because it looks pretty. So it gets a, a beauty bonus. But they're robots. They really don't care. They've all got like the mech trait, which means they have like plus 100 happiness. Uh, minus 90 social skill, so utterly useless at getting anyone to join. But they're not really going to have mood breaks, which for me is awesome. I am A-OK -okay with that. But something that we do need to start is gunsmithing. Now I'm wondering, I reckon we go batteries first, just so we can actually have a power supply. So that means we can upgrade to the level 2. So then we can upgrade to the high-tech research bench. Go into gunsmith and then I think from there we're going to have to rush to like the gun turrets. So at least we have a little bit more firepower. Because the free robots are going to be decent. They're not going to be bad. But if they get attacked every three days, or between two and three days, there is a chance that they won't recover in time for the next fight. At least this way some turrets will take a little bit of the damage off. It also means we can kick out uh, more DPS. And the raids won't scale as quickly against the turret as if we had extra colonists. So I think that will keep us in the fight a little bit longer. Obviously we've still got to get to it. And set up some bills. And the first raid has arrived. So a bunch of ferals. One's got a carbine. One's got what looks like a militia rifle. And we've got a damned one coming in as well. So yet again, still got to run pretty much around the map. And our T2s aren't too quick. But still give us enough time to get into position. Uh, trying to think. I think there's probably the best bet. Even though maybe have James at the end. Because we don't want him getting hit by a stray bullet. Now. These androids are a, a little bit tougher. And a little bit faster. So they move at 6.24. No. 6.42. Which isn't bad. And they have 4mm RHA. And 6 MPA. Which don't get me wrong. Isn't fantastic. But it's a lot more than what a human would have. So I'll call that a win. 
and Damned Dawn coming through. Not expecting too much. That Carbine has ability to actually be more dangerous. But no, it's down. And now James. Go chase this matey down. You guys carry on doing what you're doing. Because we're going to need him for some meat. So his bolt's going to be flipping. James isn't hit yet. James, you're getting behind here. You're going to have a field of fire on him. And having an AK would be a bad thing. And this has got some armor on underneath there as well. Yeah, some sort. Cool, let's go strip him. Worst case scenario, we can sell it or we use it. Robots don't really mind wearing dead people clothes. They're not fussed like that. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Oscar thinks you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? I have not thought this far ahead. Um, let's go with... Okay, so as for the faction, we're going to go with the HKs. Some of you might get the reference. And then the settlement name, we'll just call it Zion because details. That is easy. We'll need to change this across so we don't want corpses in there, but we want corpses in here, but we don't want chunks. And then because we can, let's put a butchering spot and butcher everything forever. Easy. Anything we've got to take off is robot corpses. With batteries finished up, managed to bang two down. These guys are, turns out they're super good at building, thankfully. So that was all going to get sorted. And we have two wind turbines going off. I was throwing out there. Doesn't look like we're going to get a massive amount of power on this section of the map. At the moment, obviously that will change. But we also have a raid coming in from the Eagles. They'll be attacking within the upcoming 12 hours. Which is fine. I think they're pirates, so they shouldn't have anything too fancy. Okay, one cheeky chappy with a club and a hook hand. I mean, it's dinner. And thankfully, we don't have to pull one person off to kill that, which is fine. Power lines are going off and smithing is just finished. Which means that if we go over here... No, I'm being a Muppet. I'd need machining. I thought we we're going to be able to start making ye old loading bench, but we can't do that yet. We're going to need machining, and then we'll go through all the gun tech. And then I think we should be ahead of the curb for a little while. And kind of to be expected. Not terrifying at all. Getting a road from the industrials which might actually be a little bit more dangerous. So they actually have some flat kit. Now we are using 556 by 39, is it? 45, right? Which is gonna be able to punch through their armor. But they got a whole bunch of pistols. That is not a half bad little weapon. So this one has an FC Magnum, which has six millimeters of armor penetration. So, so long as we don't get shot in the face, we should be all right. But the other side is that is going to be a bunch of flat kit. Now, we're not going to say no to flat kit, so that's a helmet. And obviously flak armor and a flak jacket. So looking forward to that. And also, yet yeah, again, a whole bunch more meat, a bunch more guns, a bunch more ammo. And yeah, that just happened. That was over super donkey quick. Yeah, I understand like four times speed does that, but... <laughs> that was really really quick okay get back out of there so we don't friendly fire you apart and chase him down you don't do your own thing there and he's down and the other one's run away sweet so just a matter of stripping him down getting that kit and then start wearing it now we have managed to get a crazy amount done since the last time we were attacked. Turns out uh, James is particularly good at research. And we have managed to kick out our gun tech. Like pretty much in the first episode. Which is amazing. So when any of these guys come around. They have a mini turret that they need to fight as well. Uh, mini turrets are awesome. Now got to be careful on this cheeky chappy. Because he does have a feral anti-material rifle. Now that thing shoots a 50 BMG. 
which if it hit us, would have been able to pretty much just one shot one of our guys. Obviously that didn't happen, thankfully, so we're just going to strip them. And now we have some armor piercing high explosive 50 cal rounds. So if the absolute worst happens and the old centipede shows up, we have something that might just be able to defend ourselves against it. And also a hyperweave tactical vest is nothing to sneeze at, some meg sloth pigskin and a bunch of other feral armors. Not amazing, but it definitely could have been worse and it turns out they can get past this jeep. Well, it looks like an old Hummer. So we're just going to wall that off. And already, so we've got the Android tech, which means we can make the Android pods. And with the Android pods, it means that we can charge the Androids. And also these can double up as medical beds. So that is awesome. So that means now we don't actually need any food. So any humans we kill and skin, well, if we refrigerate their meat, we can sell it to traders. And we can also turn the old human leather into garments that we're also going to be able to sell off as well. This area we did have to start mining up because we're running a, a little bit shy on steel because, well, we built uh, another military turret. So as they poke their head straight around here, a face full of lead. Then as they come out, another face full of lead. And then that thing will probably start shooting again. So defensively, we are looking pretty good. Now, I am thinking about putting another wall across here and then creating another zone to defend as such just because this is a fairly large area so i'm not going to be surprised if drops start coming into this section until we build into it i mean but yeah that would be uh problematic for us to say the least do you ever do something and go that's a good idea then as you're doing it you realize it's a really really bad idea so we got the old hummer here that we were going to destroy so that we get this extra wall in here now the problem with that because then it opens this back section, which means that they can flank us. Now, I'm thinking the rates are still going to be fairly small. And if the rates are still quite small, we should be able to gun them down before they can loop around the back. Now, the other side is all we'd need to do at the moment is just wall across here. Which would be fairly easy and straightforward to do. However, we do have a raid coming in uh, in probably the next few hours. So I think we commit to this, get this destroyed, see what the AI does, and then we can just start finishing this section here off. And we'll probably end up moving the entrance as well. Because right now this is okay. It's not fantastic, but it is okay. But as soon as like a centipede comes into this section, if a centipede comes around this corner and fires, everyone's dead. It's as simple as that, even though mind you would probably come along and shoot this because it would be the closest. Me thinks. Oh well, we'll find out when we get to it. Healers just landed and they're coming into attack and already we have the Shattered Empire coming in behind them. Now, sometimes the Shattered Empire is absolutely devastating because you can get guys that will just, like one person will spawn but they'll be in cataract armor. Now, if you can take them down, that is obviously huge. So long as you can knock them out because they have death for acidifiers, which is super, super annoying. I'll just throw out there. However... Sometimes they spawn with a bunch of guys in like recon armor and that which turns out to be quite difficult to take down So I'm going to be, be interested to see if we can't get any decent loot with them. Yeah, so they are coming down this way But I guess it makes sense because it's covered up Okay, let's go chase them down Oscar you actually come across here and strip Watkins off And I'm just going out there and that seems to work to right and strip them. Bruce, how are you doing? You've got one condition that needs tending. Androids are a little bit tougher than the old humans, so that is not half bad. Now, can you make the shot? No. Shame. So, one of the guys that dropped in with the Shattered Empire has recon armor. Now, if we can take him down, that means we'll get a good gun link, which is going to be actually amazing for us. And then also recon armor as well. He doesn't have anything really on his head other than obviously the gun link. So we should just be able to slot him in the brain fairly simply. The other two, just standard flat kit. Now he does have night vision goggles. But if we actually go into his gear tab, nothing else too crazy. Now cloth tactical vest isn't going to be a bad thing for us. That means we can carry more ammo. And yeah, flat kit again. Yeah, we should, if we play this right, be able to get a decent amount of kit. 
Not a crazy amount, but a decent amount. So look, well, actually, recon armor at this stage in the game is huge. What am I on about? Yeah, if we can get that recon armor, oh, that would be amazing. I would uh, call that a massive victory this early on. Now, he is coming in by himself. He does have a fairly dangerous SMG. So if he gets any shots off, we might be in trouble because they should be EMP rounds, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, an EMP discharger against robots. That kind of can only go one way. It's still got to come through here. Face full of lead comes around the corner. Now face full of lead and then all three robots start shooting. I'm more worried that he just dies outright. To be honest. Yep, just like that. Second group on their way in. Yep, dead as well. And dead as well. So we got nothing from those. They didn't really do any damage. So not the worst case. And a couple more guns. And a chain shotgun in the kill zone this size. That is going to be dangerous. A little bit annoying. Bright is tunneling through the wall here. But his comrade's dead. Now if we can take this guy down he does have a shield belt on him just checking which type it was which obviously shield belt not a bad thing to have also we can sell it now we won't get a massive amount for it but still rather have it than not and also just good target practice for these guys they're not the greatest shots but yeah bright's gone which is a shame and we're also chucking in another steel military turret down here so we're going to have three so that one can shoot first then that one, and then this one can as well. Now, thinking this might actually be in a terrible situation because anything comes to this section, that thing sprays up, and it's just going to hit our guys. Now, we are not that far from actually being able to get our own power armors. I mean, we're not close, but we're not far. What I mean is we've already got the orbital trade beacon set, which means we just need a comms console so we can get trade chips. Then if we get a combat ship fly by, or combat supplier, we can get that loaded up. Well, sell a bunch of stuff, and then get power armor off the back of it. Which would be pretty sweet. Just going to clear this section here so we can get some more components. We've got a bunch of steel here, and also got some silver ore up there. So let's designate that so that can get mined out. And we'll also deconstruct that door so it opens up this area of plastic there. Don't really want to touch that yet because that'll put our wealth up. But I tell you what. I think with that, that is a good place to round off the first episode. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Conti. All you likes, comments, sub support would be amazing. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you on the next one.